So this project originally started out to me as just, oh, I want a carbon fiber skin my mechanical keyboard. And at first I didn't think that was possible because most companies don't sell mechanical keyboard skins. At least I have never seen a company selling mechanical keyboard skins. But if you do know of a company, be sure to put their link down below in the comments. But anyways, so I was thinking, whoa, that would be cool. But then I didn't find a way to do that until I came across a Skinomi skin on the Skinomi website for the 17-inch MacBook Pro. And that was for one of their older models. So I decided to give it a go and just to cut out my own stencils and skins for this mechanical keyboard. And in the end, I think it turned out very, very well. So I originally did this because I didn't like that tan look of my mechanical keyboard wrist rest that I had made myself out of some foam. So by carbon fiber skinning it up, it made it a lot more comfortable to use. It looked a lot better and it was also a lot more textured and grippy. I also ended up skinning the caps lock, backspace, and shift buttons, as well as the space bar, just because I thought it looked cool. And it also adds some extra grip onto the keys. Now, you could do this for every single key on there, but I decided not to because that would take way too much work. But anyways, here's a time lapse of me doing all the cutting and the stenciling and stuff like that. So first I started off with my wrist rest, and that one was pretty easy. It was just a gigantic sheet of carbon fiber skin taken from the bottom of the MacBook Pro skin. So I just measured it out, drew the lines where I was supposed to cut, and cut them out with scissors, and it worked pretty well. So then I moved on to doing the sides of the mechanical keyboard. That one was a little trickier since I had to cut pretty straight and also there was the angled sides, but I managed doing this and as you can see, it turned out okay. It wasn't as desirable as I hoped it would be, but the sides turned out okay. And finally, we move on to the keys. And I wasn't originally going to do the keys. I thought it would be cool to just try the space bar out. So I did it and I loved how it felt and I loved how it looked also. So I decided to do it with the backspace keys and the shift keys. So I didn't actually record me doing it with the backspace keys and the shift keys. But here you can see the finished product. It looks very, very nice and it also feels nice. So whenever I'm putting my hands or fingers on the keys, I know immediately which keys I am putting them on. So anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. Big thanks to Skinomi for sending out these skins for me to do a video on. I really enjoyed it. Their skins are very high quality, and also they stick a lot. And you can use a hair dryer to adjust anything. I actually used that quite a lot with the wrist rest because it was curved. But anyways, their skins are great, and I will leave a link to where you can buy one of these skins in the description below. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do subscribe for more videos like this. Be sure to share and comment and stay tuned for more videos like this in the future. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later.